No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Scout Butt Podcast on I'm gonna episode. Leave that bit. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> 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 just yeet. <coughs> oh well, Kane is dying, so it's just me this episode. Yeah, it's a. Um, this is a sad episode. This is Kanan's last episode because he's dying. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is episode twenty-eight, though. Um, uh, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ta- seven topics. No, One, we're revisiting some new ones, some controversies, some new things, some old things, you know, all good old things. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. All right, let's, let's roll into this, shall we? Number one. I guess we just, yeah. I'm officially an old man now. Yes. After so, hitting 20, Kane's body is slowly deteriorating. <laughs> I was about to say. So, oh, crap. gosh. You, you, Rick, wait. dude, you can't even touch the table at all. I, I don't even know. If, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know if that's lined up. Come on, Hoover. Why did you touch the table the way you did? I touch the table all the time, and guess what? Nothing happens. But you touched the table once, and I we... I kicked <laughs> it with my foot. <laughs> you kicked it. No wonder. All right. Um. So, yes, I'm officially an old man. I have severe yes. back issues right now. Yes. Uh... And I threw it out, and I and I, I I I know the moment when my back started hurting, and I know what action was committed before that. Would you like to tell the people what? I'd you like did? to see you guess. You, what what uh, action do you think Kane and Hanley did? That well, is led- it stupid or is it legitly reason? It's stupid. Stupid. Okay. It's, you. It it, it it's something. You got that, up wrong. No, no. It it's something that is like. A fifty to sixty year old man would throw out his back doing. Lifting a box. No. Throwing a ball. No, no. All right. The reason why my back is in horrible pain right now is drum roll, please. I'm playing for that. <laughs> and this is actually pretty loud because this is coming through on all the mics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I bent over to pick up a pen. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I legit. Wow. I, so I was up at I was up wow. at the church and I had to uh, I was putting pens in the seats and I <laughs> dropped one and it fell down. Mm-hmm. And so I leaned over mm. and no, there was no there was no noise. I just bent over to pick it up and when I got back up, my back was like, "You messed up." <laughs> <laughs> it's just <laughs> like my back didn't pop. There wasn't like a weird like creaky noise. Maybe I just, you strained it, I guess. But I don't. I mean, I I I do way more. I yeah, do, no, that's kind of weird. I just bent over and like it's so bad. It everything I do hurts. It it's it's horrible. <sighs> yeah, I think I've the worst, the stupidest thing. I, I remember I I pulled my hammy. One time for the stupidest reason. I'm trying to remember. I think. I actually pulled it by stretching one time, and I oh. think that was the stupidest <laughs> time I've ever. So yeah, no, and, and I mm. and I told you this before we started rolling. Um, if if I'm not better by like Sunday or something like that, I'm I'm gonna have to like go like, hey, we have to <laughs> semi get this checked out. <laughs> but I don't want to like go to the doctor and go like, yeah, it's like it's just your body's way of aging. It's like it's just it's just a uh, like tissue degradation, like rubbing down on the bones. Like it's just gonna happen as you get older, and I'm gonna turn like. I'm only 20. I'm only 20. <laughs> I have so much more life to live. And it's like, not by the way your back's yeah, going. Nah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to be like, an, I'm going to be Stephen Hawking. Maybe. I feel inferior. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel mm-hmm. inferior to my... Dude, actually, have I ever told you what I think would be the greatest band name of all time? The Hawkings. No. Stephen Hawking's Treadmill Experience. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe when can, he was like, hey, can you see? Teens. I can see that band name. <laughs> like, <I can't. laughs> you know, you go to like, do, do you know how um how stupid some indie bands' names are? No, there's an indie band called All Cows Eat Grass. What? Yeah, All Cows Eat Grass. All Cows Eat Grass. They performed in Atlanta during an indie <laughs> rock concert fest. And I could just imagine what? you're going, you're going to like, you're going to see this big band, and they're like, "We have an indie band for us tonight, introducing the Stephen Hawking Treadmill Experience." The <laughs> <Little> cheering, <laughs> yeah. Ow, ow. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. Stephen Hawking Treadmill. <laughs> I, that's either it's so funny, no matter how you look at it, because either you're seeing him 
constantly failing to go forward, or you're just seeing a man in a wheelchair, like, just going forward and not oh, getting any workout yeah. whatsoever. <laughs> Stephen Hawking treadmill experience. Call me up if you want that. I'll be your manager. He's already trademarked it. You have to buy the name from him. <laughs> you need to go to GoDaddy.com and get that IP. Mm-hmm. Well, that uh, address. Oh, my gosh. Speaking... I don't know how you can even transition into this next one. Thinking of a transition. Okay. Speaking of... Um, I don't... What the crap was that? <laughs> That's my water bottle. Oh. Speaking of awkward segues... <laughs> there we go. That don't work. <laughs> Alright, uh, so our, our next topic... I, I thought you hadn't heard about this. I heard about this no, heard just about yesterday. It. So, 2K... The 2K series. 2K experience. (laughs) The 2K treadmill experience. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So 2K, they have... They've they've been under... They're very divisive among gamers. Some people love them, and then some people believe it's the same game repackaged and sent again. With different rosters or something like that. Recently, though, (laughs) for 2K20... That exact thing that we just mentioned happened pretty much. For anybody who purchased 2K20 on PC when booting up the game, instead of in the on your tool bo- taskbar down below, instead of it saying 2K20, it says 2K19, but you're playing 2K20. Now, that proves to me at least that they do just take the old game and edit it. <laughs> Cause can you think of any way you mess that up any other way? Um so before getting to this, uh I do believe it is the same game engine wise, of course. Well yeah, it's it's um, in the same game engine, but the uh, argument is it's legit yeah. mechanically Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- yeah like yeah. everything about the game's the same except the roster for the most part. And well and also this one, have you yeah, so the, the gambling, straight up gambling, like straight yes. up casino slot machines. Yes, it's called surprise mechanics, yes. though. It's surpri- surprise, surprise, <laughs> yes, yeah, surprise. You're gambling in game rated E for everyone. Two K seventeen, um, I believe that's the um, where that was the last new thing that I think it, you had like my my gym or whatever i think that's what what it was and like you could you had like uh, your own crib and well there was the there's still courts. the career thing yeah like, yeah yeah, it, yeah like my career or whatever that's what that's that that's where you. a lot of people that's what a lot of people play apparently yeah it, 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 but um, like that's not the longevity of these games <laughs> that's mm, not no it's <laughs> um it's basically yeah it is the same game they need to try to add more stuff but at this point it's kind of like yeah, you can't add much more to a basketball game because you're at the point to where like, what are you gonna add? Like, you've already added mostly everything, unless you change like how to shoot the ball or maybe different camera angles. But they already have that. Well, no, there, there's I mean, no real like the well. Here's the thing, I, I in in this um news, the where I heard this news, it was uh. They they discussed it. W- it was in a podcast sort of style. Uh oh, Kane's stealing I, from other people. Yeah, I am. Mm. And, and they were talking about it's like, you know, and what would be the best way to do these two K games? But th- it'll never happen this way. DLC. Sort of. I just update the roster. Yes, and that's what that, that's what they were basically saying. They're like, you release two K like a two K game. And you keep on updating the roster and stuff like that as it rolls out, new packs, new players, and sort of, like, have it that way. So, like, those who are really into it can buy the DLC and get the newest rosters, right. and then those who don't really care that. And then once they believe they have, like, a huge graphical upgrade that's worthy of a new game, they'd release another one. And he's like, then you... Mm-hmm. But he's like, they're, they're, but then the other one's comments like, yeah, but that'll never happen because... They don't make that much they, money. They off wouldn't it. make much money off it. No, well, I don't they, know. They would, no, they would still make tons of money. Does EA makes it right? But no, is it Two K Studios? I'm so like, uh, I think it's either. Hold okay. on, I'll, I'll double check this. I'm pretty don't. sure. 
So don't they make the same? Don't they make the football games and the FIFA games too? I'm, oh. I, th- I feel like they do. Caleb could probably tell us this like immediately, <laughs> but I'm not. Caleb, he, he's 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 at a victory <laughs> baseball football game. I was gonna get it eventually. Yeah, no, they have a football game tonight where they legit like. Uh. Uh, like he's not gonna get back to like three a.m. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, so two K <laughs> seems to no two K basketball <laughs> NBA two K nineteen two K basketball two K basketball. Uh, you keep talking while I like look this up. Mm. Mm. So yeah, guys, how you how you doing? It doesn't seem that EA is part of two K. Okay. I but M, uh, EA is definitely part of Madden, and I think FIFA. I can't say that for certain though. Yeah, pro- I mean, more than that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because 2K, they do... 2K is the publisher yeah, 2K. for the NBA 2Ks. And then they also do WWE 2K. WWE oh, 2K. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but like... Oh, did you hear about this? Speaking of EA, EA officially got the Guinness Book of World Records for something. The most hated video game company. Close. Most controversial video game I'm going to tell you it has something to do with Reddit. The most downvoted Reddit count ever most downvoted reddit post of all time nice it was back when star wars battlefront 2 came out nice and it was someone like saying why is darth vader locked when the game's like 90 dollars if, if you get like the if you get yeah yeah the dlc battle pack whatever they called it i didn't i didn't play battlefront 2 but and so like it, and it was like why is he locked and then it said like what did EA the, the ea response was like we believe it's the opportunity of someone to show off their skills, or it, it was it was a basic fluff piece saying like, we believe it's the core experience for the player to like wind up. It had over six hundred eighty thousand downvotes, and Holy Guinness officially crap. put it in their book. Like it, it was just on Guinness's website, yeah. but in the new book they just printed, it has it in there. <laughs> congratulations! Yeah, EA. congratulations! Yeah, I don't know how they're still. A company, dude. Like, well, because they release good games. Because EA gave us Apex and uh, the Titanfall series. What well, Apex? EA didn't respond. Respond. Made, respond to that. Respond but the thing is, is that EA had the publisher. That's yeah. the thing. EA, e- EA, <laughs> they're a publisher. They don't need to. They just have a bunch of people do the work for them. Yes. I mean, like... I mean, EA definitely does have their own in-house code, well, programmers. And, yeah. And they definitely buy studios and stuff like that to work for them. Yeah. But EA themselves, when you're a publisher, you <laughs> don't really have to worry about <sighs> things. <laughs> really? It depends on the game, well, of course. But. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, But here's the thing. It's not your li- living. It's, no. it's whoever made the games and that company's yeah. living. That like is getting screwed up by your mistake. For example, I think it was, wasn't it Dice that made the Battlefront games, the new ones? I think it was Dice. That seems right. Dice and Square Enix, I think it was. Square Enix made Battlefront. I think. I thought Square Enix is a Japanese company. I f- I'm gonna look this man. I man, we need to stop talking about random things like with until I can like find a way to do this without like getting super close up on the mic. <laughs> you probably just raped so many people. I know. There. Um. Okay, I was Square Enix. I, what did Square Enix develop recently that I'm thinking of? It was Dice. So Dice did make it. Yeah, and Dice is a subsidiary of EA. So like, oh my gosh. They own all these, like, little companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What in the world? Oh, gosh. But, like, um, but it's 2K. I've always, and I've said this about all the sports games. They're, Canon doesn't like sports. I, I don't like, yeah, I don't like sports. I understand why people like sports games, but I don't understand the yearly thing of it coming out. Because, yeah, even, even, like, I'm yeah, not even a big fan stupid. of I annual releases yeah. for, like, Call of Duty and stuff like that. But at least that I can... Technically, it's different companies, can you? Well, well, hold on. I'm like... I, I, I get that. But, like... I don't understand, like, the constant release of that. But the thing is, I can at least say those games are different enough. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are definitely some that are, like... Like, Battlefront... Uh, not Battlefront. Uh, Black Ops 4 was basically just Black Ops 3 2. <laughs> it was... Bl- 
I, I didn't even play Black Ops 4. Oh, I did play Black Ops 4. Yeah. The Battle Royale They always was had, fun. they had, yeah, and so, like, that's the thing, they just, that, that, that's, that, I can at least understand COD and why that has a game every year, but FIFA, Madden, and 2K? Yeah, no, they're, they're just money grabbers, essentially. They Well, they are, because it's just, like, as we said, you could just a DLC patch. Yeah. And, and you could have all the exactly. rosters. Yeah. Because then, you, like, and then here's a ridiculous thing. The NCAA games, which are no longer made, mm-hmm. one of the NCAA games is worth, like, 80 bucks because of its roster it had. And I'm like, this is horrible. <laughs> it's like, you can't... Ugh. Mm, yeah. It's just one of those things. It's, it's so stupid. It'll, it'll probably it's buy funny, them My brother, later. he went out of his way and got that NCAA game that was worth so much, played it for a couple weeks, and then he stopped. And I'm like, because it's just Madden. It's just... It's, 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 oh, it's the same game. Just different characters. Like, I will admit, when they jump to the from the 360 to the Xbox One, that is a reasonable purchase. Because yeah. they actually upgraded the graphics tremendously. Graphics. What else? Mainly FPS. just graphics. I'm not going to say. <laughs> I, I don't play enough of them to know what they changed. But, like, graphics especially. But just, it's just, ah. Welcome to Kana's rant. This on. is my TED Talk. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the second week in a row I said I have a TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> I think it Dude, is. TED Talk. Give me a... Uh, Kanan's TED Talk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. Um, all right. Couldn't think of a segue for this one. I had a segue for the next one afterwards. <laughs> but, so, last week, we talked about abandoning video games and our abandonment issues. Yes. Um, and you came to me earlier this week and said you wanted to, like... Re say your points like you weren't happy with reiterate how you, reiterate yeah, yeah. Because you um, weren't happy with how it came out yeah I think I don't think I got I was able to like get my and that's all the time across. we have yeah. for, <laughs> for this what? section <laughs> no no you say 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 two cents um yeah I don't think I was able to get my entire point across um or exp- I guess explain it. In a way that both sides understand, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, like I said, I have an issue with abandoning a game. Now, I'm going to actually not even talk about single players' the games this time because I don't think those uh, those could count. count no. Okay. Um, so, the one argument that I agree with is the whole, like, dollar per hour thing. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. And if you don't have time, I agree with that. That's fine. That's $60, 60 hours. That makes sense. Um, Where I take issue is when you, like I said before, when you willingly push that game aside after putting so much time into it, now... I did say this about getting bored of the game. Yeah, is burnout fine. and stuff like that, that. And like I said, a break is fine. And then you said, you know, ask how long is a break until abandonment. Um, so I did mention Siege last time. Um, I haven't played Siege, I believe, since. It's been like almost three months. I was about to say that was like early yeah, June. Or yeah, it's like it's that. been it's been it's been a hot minute, and even an update. Normally, I cu- I play when an update gets rolled out, and there, were, there was an update recently with operators. Mm-hmm. I didn't even I didn't even play that. Um, would I say I've abandoned the game? I wouldn't say so. I I'd, I'd say I want to um probably play it again someday. But I I guess I would like to say. Abandoning a game is way more complicated than a yes or no answer. Um, I definitely think, like, if you're in college or you have things to do, that's completely understandable. I'm not going to be like, oh, you abandoned your game. But, like, how we're talking about like, Daniel. That, Just right uh, now, Daniel. <laughs> well, well, I mean, he's, like, the main person, right? I know, I know. It, 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 it's, it's just what, like, if you buy a game... I've bought in games and I have I played them for like an hour. Like uh-huh. like I said, Mordu, I played like almost maybe like five hours. Mm-hmm. It was fun, 
But I didn't do enough it. research. Huh? Then you abandoned yeah, it. I did. I, I'll admit, I'd pro- See, I abandoned um, Mordu. So here's the thing. I, I This is one thing I'm very thankful for, that I, I, I have this like weird foresight thing mm-hmm. where by looking at gameplay or even just playing a little bit myself, I can usually tell how long I'll be put into this game. Like, for example, uh, Battlefield 1, mm-hmm. when the beta came out, I played the beta and I went, cool, I'm not going to want to play this after two weeks. Mm-hmm. And then all of you guys got Battlefield 1, and you all great. played the single player. Like, it was not, lit, dude. You played the single player a lot, but like, how you guys didn't play the multiplayer for that long at all. Battlefield 1. You, you basically, both all you guys played through the single player, and then the multiplayer, you just kind of like, you played it strong not for a long, bit, yeah. and then you tapered off. And, like, meanwhile, I was sitting there in the beta, and I figured out pretty early on, I'm like, mm, gotta have fun now. Mm-hmm. Leaning plates going sideways through yeah. cannons. <laughs> Clipping tanks with my wings. Golly, dude. Uh, yeah, so, like, that that's something I've always had. I've been able to, like, if I sit down and I play a game for a bit, I can usually tell how far I'll go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, like, and then there are those games like Overwatch and stuff like that where it's, like, or Hearthstone, even. It's, like, this is a game... That I won't play like forever, forever. But I, if I take regular breaks, I can play this game for a exactly. long time. Exactly. And that, and that's the thing. Like Hearthstone and the Hearthstone and Overwatch are like the perfect examples because those are the games that like I will take months long breaks on. Mm-hmm. But I know I'll come back. Yeah, it's and and, and that's yeah. the, and that's the thing. And like. A like, break is so much different than a band. Oh well, yeah, and, and like heck, even like, for, Fortnite, I I completely got wrong for everyone else, but <laughs> I knew when I was done with <laughs> Fortnite. Like literally, I remember when the Battle Royale version came out, and we played it over like Christmas break or whatever, and I was like, "Oh, this is a fun game. I'll probably play this for like mm, a little less than a month." And I, <laughs> and all of a sudden, the world just yeah, held dude. it for oh for two two, years. two year anniversary, yeah, two years. Oh my god. It's going gosh. strong. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Also, like, this was something funny. I remember last year. When when hmm. did the battle when did the battle royale first officially release? Like September what? Or was it I think it was like in November uh twenty seventeen. I know, but like so okay, this was funny. So uh uh ESPN posted something on their Twitter oh, no. last year. Oh no. On July twenty fifth. Or July, yeah, July 25th, it says, and it said, a year ago today, the first battle bus flew over Fortnite Island. And I went, no, it didn't. And Caleb's like, uh, I believe ESPN. And I'm like, uh, no, it didn't. I'm and, pretty sure it well, didn't. And, and guess what? I know what came out on July 25th, 2017. That was when Save the World came yeah, out for Fortnite. Say, yeah, Save the and, World. And I said, I'm like, and I mean, that mode may have a battle bus, but no one could tell me because no one played it. Yeah. <laughs> and so that that was something I, I had fun with that because I was like, Caleb, get roasted. And I'm like, I, I know for a fact. I know my Fortnite. I, I'm like, <laughs> well, it was funny because at that time he was really, he was playing a lot with like Colin and all of them, mm-hmm. and so and so I'm like, mm, I I think I know my Fortnite a little better than you, Caleb. And he's like, No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, um, Fortnite, 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 Fortnite. Fortnite. Also, no, I, I, I believe I, what. Um. Okay, so here, here's the point. I, yeah, I, I'm gonna actually go check that out in a second. Actually, I'm gonna check it out now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's like a weird noise. He's been doing that for I, I don't. Bl- hold on. I. Hello. You can't hear it on the mics, which is good. But basically, it was a really loud truck or something outside. That's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, and I have to ask before. No. Well, what's the second to last one on the board? Borderlands. Borderlands. I was staring at it for literally your BLT. whole ar- for for your whole argument. I was staring at it like. Be able, all right, all right. Continue. So the, the um, so competitive in games. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. I was thinking about Overwatch and Fortnite. So I think I'll go with my first point and then my second point. The first point is, I think, mm-hmm. a game becoming competitive <sighs> can ruin it for people. Yes. Um, I believe no, that's a thing. I- I a hundred percent agree with that. So that's that's one point. And my second point is, don't play the competitive part of the game if you're not 
willing to spend time getting better. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think agree Overwatch. With that as well. I think Overwatch is my perfect example for that. Because mm-hmm. yeah, people who are like a you know silver or well silver most bronze silver. Talk about my gold. people more. <laughs> Talk about them. <laughs> um, no, well, and, and I'm just gonna my little two cents. I I'd love to get better at Overwatch competitive, but right now I'm not in a situation where I can. Yeah. Where if anyone even opens their phone in the middle of it, I can <laughs> rubber banding everywhere. Oh my god! Oh my. It's dude. It's gotten so bad, and I'm so glad that I finally have a chance to like upgrade this and fix this. Because legit, I try. I I'm even struggling winning my weeklies in like oh, arcade that's mode. Oof. Because <laughs> like, dude, I'm, I'll be playing. Like, but dude, also, like, let me tell you, when there's no lag, like, I'm clapping cheeks left mm-hmm. and right. Like, no one can stop me. <laughs> I was, I was recently a Rhine, and I was just clapping, swinging left and right, swinging left and right, holding that right mouse button. <laughs> left mouse button, Kim. No. Right mouse is shield. shield. Yeah. That's all you do as a Ryan. Oh, <laughs> I was like, that's all you do. Thought you talking about the hammer? No, no, no. I was swinging left and right, holding that right mouse um, button. Yeah. Um, oh, perfect example of your point of mm-hmm. people who are like not willing to get better. When I was going through my first competitive season on PC, mm-hmm. legit, we were doing really well, and the round got really close, mm-hmm. and then final push, we're pushing, and this guy's like, and this guy who hasn't been speaking the whole game comes on mic and goes. Man, I need to put my headphones on for this one. And I just like... What the crap? And I sat there and I'm like, dude, you don't put your headphones on for competitive? <laughs> yeah, like, dude. Like, and then that's like the I don't put thing. my headphones on for weeklies most of the time because I'm usually watching something else or I'm doing something else. But if I'm doing competitive, I'm at least going to pretend to try hard. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, dude, with the um, communication. Oh, like people don't talk. They it's don't. 2019. Almost everything comes with a mic, so there's no excuse for that. Secondly, yeah, yeah, people are like, no mic, no mic. Yeah, se- secondly, <laughs> meanwhile they have like bro, one of these in front of their face. Yeah, they're, they're like, oh, sorry, no mic. What? Yeah, sorry, no. <laughs> yeah, someone on chat. <laughs> hey, sorry, no mic. <laughs> and then secondly, um, heck, some TVs even come with mics in them. Yeah, and I don't understand like. I I've say this like when I'm playing with Noah competitive. I I literally will say this when people aren't talking. I'll say, guys, I know you have social anxiety right now, but it's a video <laughs> game. You guys need to talk. We need to communicate, because people will straight up not talk and communication is like really big. Because for Overwatch especially, because like Overwatch, it's it's, it's too well, team based, well, well, which is why I don't yeah, that's particularly the, like it. Oh, that's well. Here's the thing. What the reason why Overwatch is really good if you have a team yeah is because it's so team based exactly. but if you're doing if you're solo queuing or even duo queuing mm-hmm. it's pretty rough you i believe a good time in competitive you should at least have three or four people in your queue yeah With, like that you're talking to because the thing is is that it's it, it doesn't even matter where you're positioned or anything like that your basic character pick picks have to like match and work together like the deep and right now I would say DPS is like the most important role. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Cuz if the DPS well healers have to heal. If but if the healers aren't healing then you're not going to you literally can't do anything. Mm-hmm. But they're they're not as important. Tanks are supposed to, you know, make space for the DPS to do yeah. their job. But if the DPS aren't doing their job, damage per second. Mhm. It's pretty rough. Literally nothing can happen. Like I know. everybody else can be doing the absolute best, but the DPS suck. You're not gonna win. No. Um. That's quick question. That's you have hate. you played any competitive recently? Yeah. Yeah. How has uh Sigma been? He's so OP, dude. He, he's his DPS is insane. I know. I I don't see him as a main tank pit, but as definitely as an off tank. Yeah, he's an off tank for sure. Because but like the he's... two tanks are Arissa and Sigma, and that's all you really? play. Really? That's like that's the only pe- only tanks you should play. Then supports are normally Ana, Mercy. Baptiste you, you'd and think someone. Oh, who's the other one? You, I, I, I personally. I mean, I may just be wrong. Not even Ryan, who's always been a good tank pick. Ryan's not any good anymore, really? or he's in a bad spot right now. Uh, he's like so because because like know. that was the thing. Ryan used to be like the no, Ryan was insane. Dude, no, man. he used to be like the bread and butter tank. Like everyone was like, if you're gonna pick a tank in competitive, pick Ryan. No, that's weird. I, I mean, granted, I haven't been keeping up with the competitive yeah. meta recently. So, so, so Sig. Gosh, because, I, because like I've played Sigma a little bit in my weeklies, and he's 
pretty insane. The shield is what's his shield. I mean, it's yeah. fifteen hundred, but the fact that you can throw it anywhere, yes. is, just stops Dude, a lot of pushes legit during my things. weeklies. Uh, we were pushing on Dorado. And there was a Pharah who thought she could uh, rain down some justice yeah, on us. You're just but like, guess what? <laughs> Shield and the splash damage killed yeah, her. Yeah, it was um, it was amazing. <laughs> like he is, like that shield is ridiculous. And here's the thing, I I oh, I can imagine a bad Sigma is horrible because I can't tell you how many times I'll be playing yeah. weeklies and someone will be Sigma in like a random hero challenge or whatever, mm-hmm. and I'll walk around and I'll see his shield chilling out somewhere. You need to constantly be calling that thing back. Yeah. Like, like you should never leave it out for too, too long in any place, really. Because it's... Yeah, it's... it's it, it, the Rock wasn't as... Mo- the Rock's that, insanely good. It, it's good, it. but, like... I mean, personally, with me, I haven't been able to get the hits with the Rock that I need. and I Because I know if you hit them directly, it's like a... It's a stun. It's a stun. But I, I haven't been consistently... like. It has a little bit of an arc to it. Oh, it's great. You can cross map. Yeah, people. that's the thing. Like it, 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 it has an arc to it, and I haven't figured out that arc yet. So I'm only getting the splash. I'm like aiming at someone, and I'm hitting down like mm, right in front mm, of their mm. hitbox. So I'm like getting the splash, but I'm not getting the uh, the not the stuns. And I can imagine a good Sigma, unlike yours truly, would be stunning left and right. And then his shield, his uh, shield absorption thing, projectile absorption if done right at the right time is pretty good. I will say the one thing I think they need to change what? is his ult. His ult's good, but if you if he if he ults and he clicks to initiate because the, there's like 5 seconds yeah, yeah. before or whatever the time is. It's you click. Like, as soon as you click, you can stun him, kill him no matter what. His ult still goes. It doesn't matter. That's that's the one thing I think they should try and change. So like so the second huh. he clicks, I can be a Sigma and throw my rock at him and stun him. It doesn't matter. Really? That, like in, a his mil- ul- in his ult, his whole, his whole it, ult will go yeah, off. Yeah, whole ult. Huh. From beginning to end. If, as long as he has clicked clicked on it and it's, it throws us, you know. Yeah, the, the toss up. That's interesting. It, it need, I think it needs to be changed. Huh. Because. That's, that's pretty intense. Everybody else's ult gets canceled. Not Widowmaker's. <laughs> yeah, Wid- 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 gosh, Bob. I mean, Bob. Yeah, well, I'm well. Like, in, if you think about it, technically, if McCree gets his click off, you can't stop it. Then, really, really, it's too. You quick. can stun him when you, he's shooting. When he's doing like well, the, yeah, you can stun him and it'll stop like wherever it is. Yeah, but like or whoever it's on, it, it's very hard to do that. You'd have to see him, but you know, Sugma well, just like, throws but, a shield on him now. But whatever. like the thing. So I mean, it's it's weird because it's pretty good. Th- it's very it's very rare that we have a character that has one of those ults that you have to click to initiate after you hit Q. Because only ones I can think of is like Doomfist, uh, what, what's Symmetra. Sim- well, Symmetra, but Symmetra, but Symmetra's is. Like Doomfist, uh, Junkrat, Symmetra, uh, Symmetra uh, um, uh, who's oh, uh, McCree? Yeah, McCree is a click afterwards. Uh, um, uh, not me. I mean, technically Mercy, but not really. Like, <laughs> like Mercy is like a state of being is her ult, uh, and so is Zenyatta's, so that they don't really Baptiste. That's, no, his is a. His you press Q and you have to. You you can choose where to. Position. Oh, that's right. That's right. I thought it was sort mm. of like his uh, invulnerability field. No. <laughs> yeah, but like it, it's very rare, and He's it's back. Ve- and it, yeah, the, the 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 truck is back. No, it's very rare that we have a character that does have an ability like that. But then, for the most part, for most of those characters, um, after the click is done, it's too late for the most part Mm -hmm. because they're mostly instantaneous like Junkrat as soon as he clicks it explodes like it's not like there's not like stages to it and then uh, Doomfist as soon as he clicks Mm -hmm. you you can't even hit him before it even happens no Symmetra once she clicks is up and then like uh, Baptiste 
once he clicks it's up so it's very rare for us to have a character that clicks and has like multiple stages to his ult i mean he's still floating after he clicks it like he like you fly you you can float in the air yeah, yeah, yeah. you can click it they get thrown up you're still in the air while they're in the air and then you fall yeah. as soon as they fall so it's like it, 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 he has a very weird ult and, th- and i feel like they don't know what they're doing with it yet they're trying to figure it out i i think if he gets if he if, if they're you, not in the air or if no no th- if they are in the air and he gets ulted or he gets stunned mm-hmm. i think they should still fall and depending on the amount of time th- like if, if it's like a 3 second period if it if they're only in the air for 1 second they only take a, a fraction so a third of what damage they would take so normally 50% or max half of their health max yeah it's yeah it's go half to, their health go max. down into, half of their max health is how much damage they take yeah. which is a very interesting damage percentage for that that's very interesting but you just have to hit them like i know that's the thing it, that's, the, that's dude, great. i've seen it. so many things of like a, like a Sigma throwing him up in the air, a uh, Diva flying through and just rocket missiling everyone, and then everyone just like peppering them with damage, and, and then, then just death. boom, it just yeah. white. it's like team kill. Yeah, dude, he's pretty. Dude, good. he's he's pretty intense. Speaking of wiping out and <laughs> killing everyone, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, their their big keynote was this week, and I took notes. On the keynote. Gosh. You, gonna, and, you, you continue. You continue. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. What this is. You really can't hear it through the truck. You can't hear the truck at all. It's ridiculous. What is it? I don't know. I don't see it. Run outside, go down the road, and find out <laughs> what's making that noise. Like, it sounds like it's coming from over there. It does. I don't see anything. Yeah, Huber, how about we, like, do this podcast... <laughs> Can we? Uh, hey Johnny, what's your favorite episode of the podcast? I like the one where they talked about Overwatch for a long yes. time, and then like Huber stood yes. in front of the window that yes. no one can see because it's off frame for a long time. Don't don't turn uh, the don't. It's gonna be such a. It's okay then. This is your topic, so <clears> take <throat> it away. So. We're going to go in the order that the keynote went down. First thing Apple announced, Apple Arcade. Oh, no. Have you heard about this? Nope. It's Apple's Netflix gaming streaming service. On any of your Apple oh devices, gosh. you can get... Basically, it's five, bu- Hold on. it's five bucks a month, and you get a bunch of games for free. Oh. It's like that, what? But the thing is... is the game fly or whatever? It's 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 weird because it's it's basically like you get a bunch of one dollar to like five dollar apps mm-hmm. for free for five bucks a month, which is not a bad deal. But it's so weird because like none of the games are like yeah triple A game. It's not it's not not even close to game. Pa- it's basically Xbox Game Pass, but for for uh, iPhones, Apple TV, iPads, MacBooks. Okay, and they showed off some of the games. And like one of them, one of the games they announced, like just recently got announced that it's gonna have a Switch port. And I'm oh, like, no. and I'm like, oof, <laughs> oof. And I'm like, Apple, that's <laughs> Switch indie game is gonna. And I'm like, yeah, it, it's it's weird. And then they announced uh, Apple T. They talked about Apple TV Plus, mm-hmm. which is their new streaming service. <laughs> okay, where Apple. they will have exclusive TV shows and movies. Of course, that's, yeah. uh. Their price is pretty reasonable, five bucks a month, for every th- for all their stuff. They showed off a bit of their new show, some of their new shows, and this is something cool that that's actually pretty neat. If you purchase an Apple device, you will get one year free Apple TV. How generous! Plus. And I'm like, and everyone in the audience was like, "Wait!" <laughs> they have spent a thousand dollars, get a month, so <laughs> well, get sixty dollars well, well, free. Then, but then they also, I mean, dude, their iPads are getting pretty cheap and stuff like that. Their iPads are, because so they announced a new iPad seventh gen, not an S- iPad Pro. iPad two. They're not. They didn't announce anything for the iPad Pro. So they announced a standard iPad with a button and all that stuff. It's faster, stronger, all that stuff. And I want you to guess the price for this thing. Five hundred. Three twenty nine. Which that for me, I was like, 
That's really good, honestly. Maybe their cells are down or something. Well, be, well, that's how much the 6th gen is right now. The iPad Pro was the one that cost... Oh my gosh, that's really loud. Yeah, I was about to say, you kind of <laughs> shook everything. Because it's the iPad Pro that's like a couple... Like, super expensive. Mm -hmm. But the iPad 6th gen has always is been like the cheaper one. But the 7th gen is going to be 329 And I was like, good for you, Apple. Then let's talk about the... The Apple Watch 5th Gen. Series 5. A, they're on the 5th? They're Holy on the 5th one. I and thought they were on like the 3rd. No, 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 dude. Golly. They've been releasing these things like iPhones one every year. <laughs> Golly. Now, well, think about this, Hubert. It's been five years since the Apple Watch came out. That's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy, honestly. Well, it's been like four years because Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, yeah. Series 4, Series... But still four years. That's a long... It is a long time, like... But, like, it doesn't mm, seem doesn't like... It doesn't feel that long. It, yeah, it doesn't feel that long ago. Uh, the mm. big the big topic that everyone was flipping out about with the new watches is that they finally have an always-on display. No, it's just on 24-7? It's on 24-7. Oh, okay. It's reduced brightness, of course, which is what a lot of, a lot of other smart watches have been doing. And the thing is, is that it's it's been widely known that the... The uh, Apple Watch is the best wearable peripheral for phones, but the one thing everyone was saying it lacked was an always-on display. Mm. And so the thing is, is that everyone's super excited about it. But the trailer they did for it, the the com the little commercial they played oh, for no. the, it was so weird. Um, it's a completely black room. Okay. Oh no! It, whoosh. <laughs> no, hold on. And then this girl starts dancing, and on her wrist, she has an Apple Watch Series 5, and it has, like, an X on it, and, like, they do, like, the tracing effect, and it, I was sitting there, and I'm just, like, and also the the mixing for it, the music was, like, way louder than at the rest of the keynote, so it's, like, just blaring Blah. music in your face while this girl's just dancing around, and then just went, Apple Watch Series 5, and I went... What did I just watch? That's like the I, I watched, beer commercials. Yeah, no, I watched her, like, she danced for, like, 30 seconds, and I'm like... What, what are you selling me? <laughs> what are you... And then they're, like, with an always-on display. And now this is actually cool. It, they have a screen and a program inside, so it does... So, always-on display, but the battery life has not dropped a bit. It's the same battery life, 18 hours. Now, do you want to have a guess how they did that? And, and, and better battery but think about it a better battery is not going to account for the fact that it's always on let's see let me think of how you would do that you would either have a default thing that's just no power consumption like a well, it's like a picture so you're close it's screen is super power efficient not only by dimming it when you're not looking at it Pretty much because you know, like as soon as you raise it, it brightens up. Right. Yeah. But also, when you're not looking at it, the f the uh, refresh rate goes all the way down to one hertz. One hertz. There you go. And it, it, its refresh rate goes from one to sixty hertz. And so, like legit, the the screen just like basically dies. <laughs> 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 but just to show, and and it makes sense. Why on earth would you need anything more than a one hertz display for a watch? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just. Every 60 seconds, it just needs to go. <laughs> it just change ever so slightly. Uh, this one, they have a built-in compass. Whoa. <laughs> so you can tell which way you're facing. Whoa. <laughs> I know, I know. Innovation that excites. Um, they announced two new forms, because originally you could get it in, like, stainless steel or, like, the regular metal or whatever. They announced a titanium one. Which I just, I heard the ka-ching! Yeah. <laughs> I heard it. $2,000. And then, I, they didn't announce prices for this, but then, out of all of the materials, they announced one that's made of ceramic. Like, toilet stuff. <laughs> but you dropped that... <laughs> Bro, it's like a toilet sound. Well, and also, let me it looked beautiful, though, because it's just clean white. Right. But yeah. I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, you dropped... This. I don't know. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Ceramic has not been the most... You, you want to see what I can do to a toilet? <laughs> Have you seen the video of someone putting a firecracker in a toilet? Boom. <laughs> Boom. Doo-doo water everywhere. Yeah, imagine what happens when I drop it. I drop my... Uh... Um, 
Oh yeah, speaking of watches, my watch finally took some damage. Yes. I'll yes. show I'll put this up closer to the camera. Yeah, my watch finally took some damage. You must go to YouTube. You must if you, you're listening yeah, to SoundCloud, you, you just go to YouTube pod- right now. Yeah, go to the if you're uh, listening to the podcast, is this in focus? Kind of sorta. Of, yes. Now it is. Okay, yeah, look at this. My watch finally took some damage. Catch us up at the Scatterpop Podcast at YouTube. This is around 46 sec 44 46 minutes just watch the whole podcast on you yes <laughs> we're not gonna i'm gonna bleep out huber and just that no i won't i'll forget to <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and then they announced uh the prices for the series 5 gps models just without cellular built into them right so you have to have your phone nearby is 400 dollars uh then gps with a cellular connection is 500 dollars and then they announced that the series 3 will still be sold and that its prices dropped down to two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, is honestly, a series. If if I if if I was to own an Apple Watch, it would be a Series Five. I I would want something that I can always tell the time on. You hear that, ladies? I'm not going to buy myself. You hear an Apple that, ladies? Watch, yeah. Hey, if anyone is like interested in me and wants to buy me something, you yeah, you can get Kane's love and affection. If you yeah, buy with him a Series Five, five Apple Watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, now we go to the big news of the event. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the... I uh, looked at the board. No, no. no yeah, the, the biggest news. I was like, okay. <laughs> no, um, the iPhones. Oh, oh boy. Disgusting. You and I have already had this discussion. Absolutely disgusting. Here's the thing. Disgusting. I'm not defending them. I don't care if it's innovative. I don't care if I can see the nano hair on my chin. What'd you just do? No, 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 you're good. Here's the thing. I, then I'm going to have to be the one to defend this. Because <laughs> we can't both hate it. I think it's disgusting. I believe it's it's not as clean as a strip like most other phones have. But I mean, I, I've, I've seen, I saw the leaked cases for this thing. I knew it was going to look like this. Did you see the meme where someone made it into a stove? Yes, I saw that. I saw that. That's pretty funny. No, so um, yeah. So the weirdest part of this whole thing is that the actual iPhone 11 is the replacement for the 10R of sorts. Uh, It comes in six colors: black, red, green, (laughs) not green, (laughs) yellow, white, and purple. Also not purple. (laughs) Lavender, maybe. (laughs) Uh, It has two cameras, one of which is an ultra wide camera, which is great. An ultra wide camera. What doesn't make sense to me? I'll say this. It doesn't make sense to me that the 11 has the block. Because the 11 doesn't even have a third camera. Then what, what's the other thing? For telling like, light? I don't know. That shouldn't... I like... think it's just there. I think it's just there. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, it has a telephoto lens, an ultra-wide lens. It has very good low light. Situ- like, in low light situation, it's pretty solid. I They showed off a picture. And this was the thing I didn't tell you about. Uh-oh. Okay. They they came up with a new word. The dumbest word I've ever heard. Oh, that's heard. right. You were holding this back from me. Yeah, I, was hold- I told you a lot about this, except this. So, on the front-facing camera, they announced a bunch of new things on the front-facing camera. camera. No, no, no. <laughs> they are putting slow-mo on the front-facing camera. Mm-hmm. And it's so you can take slow fees. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Slow fees. It because the whole thing it showed like someone like taking a video of themselves. Well, it's a video, not a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and so it, t- it was taking a picture, and like someone was get- doing like the leaf blower thing, yeah. like of their mouth getting all yeah. distorted, which would be really cool. Like f- front facing slow mo, you can do some things with that. And then it said slow motion selfies and then it, it, it went oh, and i laughed for like 30 seconds straight like, like apple listen i understand you're trying to get hip with the like young kids but that's not Slow-fies. how you do it that's not how you do it chief it's like their uh memoji thing they did yeah they like create your mm-hmm. or no animojis like, that yeah yeah and I think they did the same thing. Animated emojis. Oh, bam. Anim- and emojis. <laughs> Dude, but when I saw slow motion selfies and then slow fees, I straight up laughed. You were like, like, 
Congratulations. Uh, but then they talked about uh, the new chip inside of it. It's the exact same size and screen. It, it literally is a 10R, just faster and in the 11 body with slow fees. Your choice. Do you want to pay seven hundred fifty dollars or seven hundred dollars? It's actually cheaper than when the ten R launched, which is which. If you're someone who is still rocking an eight or um, seven, even the eleven seems like a good pick. You can get nine four seven at Metro PCS for forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> when you switch today, <laughs> when you switch today. Now this I've heard is that where commercial here's the thing. I, I I've like pondered on this. I like the 11 Pro name because it makes sense because they have the iPad Pro, right. they have the MacBook Pro, the iPhone Pro. I have issue with the Pro Max. <laughs> Mac Pro. The iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh, the Ma- oh, you said Max. I thought you Max. Said- no, no, no. Oh. Max. Like M-A-X. Four be- words for be- one name. iPhone 11 Pro. Call it Plus. E- even though Plus is four as well. Just put a symbol there. Like, we'll, 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 we know it just yeah oh my gosh i i re- that's the only thing i really hate about this name system iphone 11 pro that makes sense I'm dave like, and naming got fired they just 11 didn't tell you. pro max now speaking of this um they come in matte finishes midnight green uh, they have and then they have their traditional space gray and silver and gold uh they ha- and it, and it's pretty much the 10s and the 10s max right uh, one of them is smaller than the 11 at 5.8 inch display, which the 11 has a 6.1 inch display, and the Max has a 6.5 inch display. It has their new technology that they have in their monitor, their monitor with a $1,000 uh, stand in it, uh, called XDR. So the, uh, n- the Pro series will have something called Super Retina XDR, which is super, uh, translation, super crisp. <laughs> there you go. Um, they are finally going to include a fast charger in the box with the Pro Series. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, they showed off a new neural engine for photos that actually takes eight pictures before you even click the shutter button. Didn't they already announce that? Like, they, forever ago? They did, but, like, um, they said um, when you click the shutter button, it takes four, like, after it. Mm. Now it's taking eight before it, and it through um, neural uh, AI and stuff like that. It's going to piece it together. And they showed a picture of it, of it in action, and it was really crisp. On it was like someone with like a fleece sweater on. You could see like each individual, f- like fray of that, and it was it was really cool. It was really cool. Um, of course, these phones will cost you one thousand dollars, or uh, if you want the Pro Max, eleven hundred dollars. <laughs> Uh, they announced that the iPhone 8 is now going to cost 450, and the 10R is going to cost 600. And there you go. I mean, I obviously wasn't going to get a phone this year. I wasn't. What are you doing? Why are you sh- shooting me like shifty eyes? You want to get the biggest story no, on that board? I'm, I'm looking at the <laughs> camera and then at you. Oh, letting the audience know. Canaan is not up for sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, I wasn't planning on buying an iPhone. Um, I was a little disappointed. I knew I wasn't going to be super excited about these phones because they announced that it was. Th- they were keeping the same screen body for this year's phones. That was announced a while back. That it was. It was going to still have the notch in it and stuff like that. Yeah. And granted, most s- substitutes for the notches, I haven't been huge fans of, like the hole punch. In the Galaxy phones, I'm mm. not a huge fan of. What, uh, what about a f- fold phone? You know that, you know that phone's apparently getting released again soon. I heard they fixed it. I, <laughs> I mean, who knows? Heck, they didn't even get a chance to release the first one. No. Nah. They sent out review copies, and then everyone's like, "Um, mine broke." Yeah, it's messed up. Yeah, that's. Dude, uh, It'd be cool if they if they can get it right. They'll be pretty pretty. But it's got iPhone is two thousand dollars. That's fine for a foldable phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's the hill you choose to die on. <laughs> the, yes, that, that's the one you choose to defend. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the hole punch, 
and any of the mechanism ones that like Huawei and stuff like that haven't been great. The cl the one I like the most currently is on the new Galaxy Note 10s. They have a hole punch, but at least they had the common decency to put the hole punch in the center of the screen instead of off to the side. <laughs> and and that's just me being like I mean it's fine. I I would get used to it if I held it before, but like my like when I look at like Sam's phone cuz he has the plus so he has like the big hole punch to the right. I'm mm -hmm. like, dude, my eyes just gravitate to that boom. corner and just like boom like i look at the phone and just bang it's like dang it i don't even know what's going on anymore it's like wait what was i doing oh well, bang there it is again so at least that's the one i like the most so far and it's because it's one hole and it's in the center of the screen and it's symmetrical and it's nice and i that's the one i like the most but it's still not great right granted i don't i don't know how you get past that really if you want to have a front-facing camera that's Zeus whimpering. Yeah, he's whimpering and whining because he got walked up in his womb. Um, I don't know. Well, why don't you talk to the people? I let Zeus out so he doesn't like okay. whimper. For the All right, I will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> um, so well, Cannon goes and lets the puppy out of the room. Um. I believe we are rounding the one hour mark here. I'm done. All right, Kane is back. But I'm trying to end this podcast. No, I'm not on here. Don't try to. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm looking. Yeah. So I was gonna say, since we are rounding the one hour mark and we have, well, three topics and one fact. Um, we can quickly hit these last. Okay, Nintendo released a thing. It's called a circle jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, just Clip. go look it up. <laughs> Clip. But, yeah, it's, Nintendo released another uh, exercise game. Kanan, what is the game called? Uh, uh, I don't remember either. I don't remember either, dude. Something Fit Adventure? Ring Fit. Ring Fit Adventure. Ring Fit Adventure. So you put the Joy-Con in this little ring thing, and it, I don't know if it detects... We don't know how we, it works yet, We had a yet, whole basically. discussion on how this thing works. We don't know hold how on, it works. Hold on, hold on. We're not doing this. I, I, legit, I, t I was talking to Sam about this, yeah. and I legit told him, just listen to the podcast. So we have to give it some... Oh, okay, okay. 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 <clears throat> so um, a week ago, during the Smash Direct sort of thing, where they announced like all that crap, a couple... Yes. Not a week Weeks back when they did yes, that yes. <laughs> Direct, they released a random video, not connected to the Direct, of these people with like this exercise ring, and they're like... Doing all these poses. It's very confusing. It was very confusing. There was like a lady who straight up had it between her legs doing like the Patrick Star like butt. And you're like, what thing. the? <laughs> and like every. But they didn't show what was on the screen. They just showed like her family going like, yeah. yeah. Like, good job. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Collecting a paycheck. So, um. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so earlier this week, they, uh, they finally. Well, last week, after when this episode finally comes out, uh, last week they released a direct. Uh, well, not even a direct, a seven-minute video for this thing alone. Yep. It's called, like, I'm going to look this up so I'm not, like, just saying it repeatedly. It's like, eh, I'm just going to type in Nintendo Fit. <laughs> I type in Fit and Fitness Ring pops up. No, not... Ring Fit Adventure, I was right. Ring Fit Adventure. It's a fitness game, but it's also an adventure game. <laughs> So yeah, they somehow, which I, it's creative, I'd say. Yeah. W um, let me say, it's cool. as far as fitness games go, it's cool. Yeah. It, it's, but basically, what? Oh my gosh, we will have to talk about silent mode. That was the funniest. That's the, uh, that was pretty funny. The silent I, mode. She wasn't even moving. She was like, <laughs> well, she was like shaking so violently. The way, the way this game works is that you have one Joy-Con strapped to your thigh, and you ha and then you're holding this ring, and. W I believe it uses the infrared camera to detect when the ring's like how far away the ring is. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. basically, you go on an adventure and you run through the levels and stuff like that. Like, you legit run, which yes. I was expecting them to announce that this had like Labo VR support, but yeah. they never did they that. Never, yeah. Which would have been honestly, that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, they missed it. They might release it later. Maybe. But, be, well, know. they did release Smash Labo VR 
stuff later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was weird. That's weird. It's very mm-hmm. funny because legit, it's like the stage is just right there, and you just kind of have to like look. You're like, uh. <laughs> but of course, you can't play with people because because <laughs> they're like the other person just spamming all the buttons. <laughs> You're like, uh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> the Star Fox S- memes. Dude, oh my god. So um, hands off mine. <laughs> With the uh, Falco, the thing you can have him say. Oh yeah, hands, hands off, off my hat! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, that's so loud. Yeah, that was, oh, I'm God. so sorry to all of you. You were just raped in your ears. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was so loud. I don't know how. How was it that loud? Because you went, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, um, you. Oh man. So, but this fitness game, you like run around, and then this was the best part. They were like, you come across creatures you must fight in yoga poses, <laughs> and you basically like do exercise. Yeah, you do exercise. The only one I think is stupid is the one where you're sitting on the ground with yeah. a thing between your legs. Like, what? Yeah. What is that doing? <laughs> I don't. So you basically exercise to fight these monsters. Yeah. And Huber and I were discussing. Could like a marathon runner like speed run this game and just, just sprint? Yeet. <laughs> just... <laughs> just... And then before we forget the silent mode. Oh my! So they, so they said like, do you want to get? First off, this the people who are like just like showing this off. Yeah. It's like their first day in front of a camera. They're mm-hmm. like, hi, I'm here to talk about w- w- Ring Fit Adventure. It wasn't natural. It was, and it was like, like, now do you want to get an exercise? But you want to be quiet, and they show someone like stomping on the floor. Well, she was she wasn't even stomping, dude. She was like like kind of just well, like no, no, jiggling. No, no, no. I'm talking about the person who was like making the loud noise before. Oh, oh, oh. Like oh, in, oh. in an infomercial, they would have put yeah. this person in black and white and put a red X over them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, it's like then try silent mode, and I am legit going to do what she was doing if my back allows me. To. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> She, she straight up was standing there she holding was, this ring and she was just going. Yeah, she was just she bouncing was, up and down. Like, she, was she wasn't even moving. <laughs> and I'm like, holy crap. Again, check us our YouTube out. This got a podcast at YouTube. Kane just did a nice sexy Kane just dance destroyed his back <laughs> <laughs> for you guys. Mm, 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 mm. So she just like kept on like going up and down like this. And it was so funny to me. It was so funny. Um. But yeah, that... No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that was. Hello? Hey. Who was <laughs> it? was my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello? No. <laughs> you can see who it was. I, just, I thought it was Kinsley. But it was my dad. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. That's you can only check out. that out on YouTube. <laughs> this is nothing but a this is sponsor. It. Forget all of you listening to us on audio. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're driving. Just put the YouTube video yeah, on. Yeah, dude. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, that, that game comes out next month. Uh, mm-hmm. We're not going to do a video on no. it. No. <laughs> no. I'm not spending money on that. Maybe if someone got it for me, that'd be yeah, pretty if, cool. If, but, you know. Oh my gosh! Uh, before we get to the fact of the day, let's talk about a game that came out the day we're recording this. Yes. Ball on for you. Yes. Ball on for so I know someone that was playing it like uh, as soon as it came out, and they were just literally playing it all day. Who? Well, do I know? No. Okay. Because it, so Borderlands, if you haven't played it, it's a looter shooter. Emphasis on the shooter. Looter shooter. So the thing is, is that there was actually something really funny I saw on iFunny today. It says one hour into Diablo three, and it was a person with like yeah. crap tons of stuff. It's like one hour into Borderlands, and you have a ton of stuff, and then it says one hour into Destiny, and they had like a uh, thing, a, well, a it, single thing. Yeah, and so um, one thing that's great about Borderlands, uh, the guns technically t- <laughs> they advertise it as infinite. And guns, like never ending guns. And it's because all the guns are randomly generated. Mm-hmm. Like, it, basically, they have a ton of components that can be on it, and every gun you pick up will have whatever the crap. Like, there is a late. Th- in one video I saw of it, someone found a gun that was a laser, but as it was lasering, it also shot missiles. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this game is crazy. Golly. Like, ridiculous. Just frantic, frenet- phonetic. I think that's the same word. It is the same <laughs> word. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what phonetic is. Isn't that like a sound thing? Like phonetics? Like phonics? <laughs> Isn't that an esports team? Fanatic? A fanatic? But I said phonetic. Hmm. Like... Anyway, the game is crazy, it's bonkers, yes. and I, I was going to play it if I found a group of people to play with. Uh, don't know if I'll... I'll, I'll definitely pick it up on PC, because... Daniel, do you want to play with us? Yeah, Daniel. <laughs> hey, Daniel, will you abandon us this time? Hey, Noah. Noah, you better not play this game for a this week. This better not be magic. <laughs> oh, that's his abandonment. out. That's his abandonment. Well, that's, gosh... <laughs> Yeah, he did. He did abandon he, it. He's he, not taking a break. He's no. Well, well, I, I know so you're listening. Thing. We all abandoned it, but the thing is, he went deep. He well, he's like he did like professional decks, and it's like holy crap! No, those things are like a cu- couple hundred dollars. Meanwhile, I was sitting there with my deck that cost me like thirty dollars to build, and I went, "I hope this is good." And then it turned out to be one of the, the best, best decks. Yeah, and I was well, um, the second well, not the second best, but like I was. Literally, they didn't have the cards I had from making it... Originally, the plan was to make it Mm -hmm, mm mono-black. But they didn't have the cards at Wasteland that we needed. So then we went with a black-white, and then I found out that mono-black zombies ended up being... The best, yeah. The best deck after that one. And I had a ton of fun until I lost those cards on a cruise. Yes. Over a year ago. (laughs) Yes, over... Yes. Yeah, over a year ago. Uh... Now, now we've come to the point. I think we should. We, just... We've come to the point of the podcast yes. where those of you know Huber graces us with a fact of the day, and since we never covered this topic, why don't you make it a deep thought fact? <sighs> because well, this of, is the part see. of the podcast mm. where Huber graces our ears okay, with, with a fact of that? the day. <clears throat> Go, Huber. Everything you achieve, everything you do. In this life, will literally mean nothing. Every single second of your life on this earth will literally mean nothing. You could become the world's best X, Y, or Z, and later down the line, you will be forgotten history. Wow! Imagine, you know that woodcutter back in the 1800s who settled in America. Do you know his name? No, you don't know his name. Your name will be Was forgotten it a that in history. America? Huh? Was it a woodcutter that settled in America? I, I said in 1800. So 1800. Said, oh. Okay. I, said, I just said the woodcutter in America. Said, yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, I thought you said who settled America. No, no. Um, so, yes. Just remember that things in life happen. And that things will happen. Things will happen, yes. And when things happen, you should always expect the unexpected. I've been David. He's been Caden. <laughs> I hope these get better <laughs> down the line. Yeah, I was kind of you. Well, you kind of threw that deep thought fact together. So I was like, uh. Wait, if we didn't throw the deep thought part, what would have been the fact of the day? <sighs> Tomatoes are indeed a fruit. I'm glad we went. Did you wait a minute? You legit just say tomatoes. Yeah, dude, I came upon the spot with that one. Wow, I, mm. I couldn't tell. Any any other? You know what? You know what? People probably feel gypped. Come on, we need one of these um, to be good. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Just fact of the day. Oh, fun fact. The Japanese are the only country in the world to grow square to uh, square watermelons. Yeah, 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 and they are like apparently ridiculously expensive, like uh-huh. actually like super expensive, but apparently they're really sweet. So I don't know if making them square makes them sweet, or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know if it's if it's correlation equals conservation sort mm. of thing, or if it's just no, if it's just they're sweet. Yeah. They're just sweet melons that they put into squares. All right, well that has been the Scatterpop Podcast. You can find us at YouTube. Well, YouTube, which we've referenced many times at the Scatterpop Podcast. Let's just pause and let the. Yes, now SoundCloud. Well, sound if you can find us at SoundCloud, Literally, iTunes, Google all, Play, yeah, all this stuff. Pretty much everywhere else, almost at Scatterpop Podcast. Yes, and I, and I will say this because Sam was having issues with this. 
when it comes to YouTube, it has to be the scatter pot, which is one word, podcast. Because if you separate, because some people are separating the scatter and the pot. No, we we slow scatter feed that. pot. We together. slow feed that. We put it yes, together. That is one word. It is one word. Scatter pot, coined by us. Yes. And Josh Lee, the little heifer who couldn't make a banner. Yes. <laughs> Boom roasted. <laughs> Um. Yeah, but you text find, us in the middle of like. Yeah, no, it, it, it was so it, random. We haven't talked to this man in like a long time, and he sent us a text like, just randomness. Like this is Kanan. Like a picture. It was a picture of like. Yeah. Like a a a dude with his face like spread in a pantyhose, like getting choked out pretty much, and he just said, huh, "This is Kanan," and I'm like, "You don't talk to us for." For literally months, yeah, <laughs> and this is what you sent us. And then you ask him a question, and he doesn't respond. And I know. And I asked him if he months. wanted to come on the podcast. Yeah. So if you're listening, Josh, that is the question. He's not listening. You're not listening, Josh. Sam, I know you're busy. We're gonna call this episode here, and yes. I hope you guys enjoyed. And Huber, I'm gonna podcast. say this again. Yes. What's up? We can't, we forget, can't forget an Instagram. Podcast. Okay, we'll do it right as soon as we end this. Three, two, one.